Hey guys, this is Kitsy Higgins. I help women succeed to their next level with the help of their deceased loved ones. So in this video, I wanted to talk about the four tips on dealing with financial uncertainty and dealing with uh, financial hardships. So um, for me, I uh, have had a pretty good life. Um, anytime I needed extra money, there was always credit cards, someone that offered it to me, or there was, I made enough money that I didn't really need more of it. There was always enough. Um, and it wasn't until about a year ago when I had a situation where there was no credit cards, um, no one was helping and I was not making enough. And so I was stuck in a position where I was unable to um, pay for things and I got into a financial hardship period. Um, to me, I've learned a lot during that time, and it's because of that time I'm able to talk to you about this right now. So the four tips that I first want to recommend for you to deal with is, uh, first is to take out money that you need to pay for your gas of your vehicle and then for groceries. So if you are like myself and my husband, uh, you may get paid bi-weekly or twice a month. So if that is the case, you will want to be um, putting away money for that following week. Uh, I know that there was this one time where I, I did not figure in that money for that following week. And we had, a, unfortunately, a negative in our bank account. And so I didn't want to go anywhere to go grocery shopping. And all I had was peanut butter, jelly, eggs, uh, cereal, um, and then uh, milk and stuff for dinners. And someone asked a question. They're like, why are you allowing yourself to have, you know, barely the essentials? And I thought to myself, oh, yeah, that's right. I am kind of <laughs> kicking myself in my f my foot with this. So I realized to myself, I had to figure out a way where um, I was able to put away money for that second week's money that I may not be having that pay uh, because we get paid every uh, twice every month. So what I did was we figured out how much money we needed for the gas for the full two weeks while um, that paycheck was. And then we also figured in the groceries. And uh, so we figured in about $40 a week for groceries. We figured about if we did $40 worth of gas every pay, we would be able to, um, you know, put that away for the following uh, week. So every paycheck, as soon as he gets paid, I do the grocery shopping for bulk food, um, Sam's Club. And then after that, I put away $40 for the groceries for the second week. And then I put away, um, then we fill up our tanks of gas. So I don't have to worry about um, not having enough gas to get to work. And trust me, there was two weeks where I was concerned about my husband getting to work. And he's like, I have 12 miles left. And I was like, ah. So um, we made sure that we were putting enough gas in our tanks to put so that we made sure we were able to have the gas we needed for work, to have the groceries for that second week. Um, and I know you might say this is obvious, Kitsy, but to some people, they've never experienced a time like what we may be experiencing with this coronavirus. Um, if this goes on for too long or if people get no pay um, or very little pay. So... Um, so the other thing too is, so put away whatever amount for your groceries for that second week, just stick that away, put it in like a empty can, uh, fill up your gas to make sure you have enough to get you until that next paycheck. Uh, if you get paid bi-weekly and let's say you use a full tank of gas every week cause you drive a lot, then put away $50 for that gas. So that's that. So do, uh, both of those and make sure that you're putting away enough so that you have that gas for that second week. Um, to me, that has really helped. I don't have to worry about, oh crap, like how much money do we have? It's always there, always available when we need it in, uh, in that second week. 
and we're always making sure that we're having enough gas. Listen, if you don't have gas in your car, you're not having freedom. So super important that we are filling up our tanks. Um, second tip is uh, for you to pay the two things. So once you've done, you put away money for your groceries, you put away money for your gas, uh, filled up your tank. The second thing is making sure that one, your rent or mortgage is paid or, uh, and to your car loan, if you have one is paid, listen, you don't have a car, you are not able to drive to work. If you get behind in your rent mortgage, then you got to move. And then you're dealing with a massive pain. The one thing I was super happy about, we had a whole upheaval of our financial things, but the house stayed, we were totally up to date with the house. It allowed me to be like, okay, like things are in up upheaval, but at least our house was, you know, secured. The cars were secured. And while the crap storm was going on, at least I have little amount coming in. Um, I'm doing my gas and my food. What else should I do next? I would say to do mortgage rent and then to do car loan if you have one. So the third tip is to... Uh, call the people if you're over two months behind to say, listen, I'm so sorry I am behind on my bill. Uh, first month, they'll just tack on a, um, you know, that fee that if you don't pay your bill. The second month, it might be close to being shut off. So you want to call them and say, hey, listen, due to the coronavirus, due to whatever reason, I'm unable to pay this bill. Usually they negotiate. Usually they're, offer, they're usually able to offer something to you to help you. Um, so n don't feel like there's no option that this is never going to get better. It will get better. Make sure you tell your billing companies that they know what's happening so that they're in the loop and understanding. Um, so the fourth being decrease whatever you can. Decrease whatever bills that are extra that you don't really use. For me, I have a lot of extra little tidbits in my business, about seven applications that I use that I had to keep. And yeah, it's almost $200, but that stuff allows me to, to maintain my business. So that had to be done. Now, um, you know, doing, uh, well, what, um, what's an example? I can't think of an example of something that you could decrease but we decreased a, a few extra expenditures that were just not needed so we, um, we canceled those um and then to also you know if you have cable decrease it get rid of the movies decrease of whatever you can even just doing it a little bit you're showing to the universe you're showing to god listen i'm taking full responsibility financially for where i'm at but I got to go and um, decrease wherever I can. So at least by you doing that, it's taking the step in the right direction to get you out of that financial predicament you may be in at that moment. Um, so again, one, put money away for that second week that you might not have money coming in. Make sure you're doing the gas. Make sure that you're doing the, uh, the food. Uh, and then number two, make sure that you are... Um, paying your mortgage and your car to make sure that those stay stable so that while that's an upheaval, those two things are at least being secured and supported. You're being supported during that time. Third, um, uh, the third is to tell the financial companies, listen, this is what's happening. Even credit card companies are willing to work with you. They're willing to work with you. And then fourth, um, decrease whatever you can, even if it's $20, you're still doing that in the step in the right direction. Listen, things will get better. Remind yourself to be present and just remind yourself to still have that joy, to still have that happiness. When we were having this period, I still took advantage of our pool membership. To me, that was totally had to be done because that's what brought me joy. And even though if that was a hard time, I thought that that was important to have the kids go and play, to to have fun, even though if it was a very tight time and it um, allowed us to just really um, to still bring happiness in, in a hard period. So, um, you know, if, if there's something that really brings you joy, 
don't say, well, I can't do that because I'm having financial problems. You know, still figure out something that you can do that will bring you joy and happiness during that time. So I hope that um, this time period is fast and I hope that this helps. Um, this was the things that really helped me where I'm at and um, I'm seeing more and more things are getting better and that more things are happening for us. So um, trust me, you can get through this period and in no time you'll be back on your feet. So I leave that with you. Many blessings. Thank you. Bye.